Welcome everyone, so glad you are here. We are honored to have you with us. Of course, this is the quote unquote YouTube show before the show where we welcome you and hope you had a good evening. And uh, we move on into the day. I am bringing us up onto Facebook now. And uh, if you are gonna be watching on Facebook, please do like and subscribe, like and ask for notifications. Um, if you are on YouTube, like and subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications of new videos being posted to our channel. We're always happy to have folks come on and make comments and like our videos. It helps us with the algorithms and everybody knows they need help with their algorithms. Um, and then as well for Facebook, please start a watch party if you're gonna watch there. Um, real time, if you have any intercessions, please mark those in the Facebook section um, of comments. If you uh, are commenting on YouTube, we try to make sure that we check those regularly and uh, welcome you for, um, for offering those intercessions and at the next office, we'll pray them. So we're honored to have you all here. And welcome and good morning to all and we'll cross post because that's what we do. So one of the things yesterday when you were officiating Laura, it uh, kept kicking me over into different cross postings on my phone as I was trying to monitor everything, which was very strange, mm. but uh, which is why I was distracted on the page turning in case you guys had, didn't notice that. I'm sure you did. And then of course the debacle of last night's uh, <laughs> episode with the cats because you know what when you're praying real life intervenes so one must do what one must do all right so honored to have you all here with us today and uh, truly it's a great gift to be able to share worship with you shall we begin oh wait a second let me go here and make sure we're all set to go caught me in mid-edit yeah i was glad when they said to me let us go to the house of the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I invite you to join me in unison for the Antiphon and Invitatory. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalms 26 and 28 this morning. I'll offer the odd. You guys will respond with the even. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, me, O Lord, try and try me. Test, Test my, my heart, heart and mind. mind. For your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in faithfulness to you. I do not sit, I do not sit with the worthless, nor do I consort, I consort with hypocrites. hypocrites. I hate the company of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I wash, I wash my hands in innocence and go around, and go around your, your altar, O oh Lord. Singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O oh oh Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the, and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty. Those, in whose, Those hands whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. 
But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands That's what stands on level ground. In the great congregation, the I will bless the Lord. You, O Lord, I call. My rock, do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who are workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while mischief is in their hearts. Repay them, Repay them according to their work according to and according the to the their evil deeds. of their deeds. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward. Because, because they do they not, regard not regard the works of the Lord or the works of his hands, he will break, will break them, them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of my pleadings. The Lord, the Lord is, is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. So I am helped and my heart exalts. And with my song, I give thanks to him. The Lord is the, the, Lord strength, is the strength of his people. Is he refuge. is the saving He's refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. All who make idols are nothing, and the things they delight in do not profit. Their witness, their witnesses neither see nor know, and so they will put, be put to shame. Who would fashion a god or cast an image that can do no good? Look at all its devotees shall be put to shame. The artisans, too, are merely human. Let them all assemble. Let them stand up. They shall be terrified. They shall all be put to shame. The ironsmith fashions it and works it over the coals, shaping it with hammers and forging it with his strong arm. He becomes hungry and his strength fails. He drinks no water and is faint. The carpenter stretches a line, marks it out with a stylus, fashions it with planes and marks it with a compass. He makes it in human form with human beauty to set, be set up in a shrine. He cuts down cedars or chooses a holm tree or an oak and lets it grow strong among the trees of the forest. He plants a cedar and the rain nourishes it. Then it can be used as fuel. Part of it he takes and warms himself. He kindles a fire and bakes bread. Then he makes a god and worships it, makes it a carved image and bows down before it. Half of it he burns in the fire over this half, he roasts meat, eats it, and is satisfied. He also warms himself and says, ah, I am warm. I can feel the fire. The rest of it he makes into a god, his idol, bows down to it and worships it. He prays to it and says, save me, for you are my god. They do not know, nor do they comprehend, for their eyes are shut, so that they cannot see and their minds as well so that they cannot understand. No one considers, nor is there knowledge or discernment to say, half of it I burned in the fire. I also baked bread on its coals. I roasted meat and have eaten. Now shall I make the rest of it an abomination? Shall I fall down before a block of wood? He feeds on ashes. A deluded mind has led him astray and he cannot save himself or say, is not this thing in my right hand a fraud? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning, the second song of Isaiah. Together, seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. Now this I affirm and assist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lost all sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. That is not the way you learned Christ. For surely you have heard about him and were taught in him as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away your former way of life, your old self, corrupt and deluded by its lusts, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to clothe yourselves with a new self, created according to the likeness of God in the true righteousness and holiness. So then putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing, rather, rather let them labor and work honestly with their hands, so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger, and wrangling and slander, together with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this morning, a song to the Lamb. Together, splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Please join me in the creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy, have mercy Lord. Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. But we put our trust, put in, our trust in, you. in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never, we shall hope, never in hope in vain. vain. Almighty God, whose only begotten Son led captivity captive and gave gifts to your people, multiply among us faithful pastors who, like your holy Bishop Wolfstan, whom I did not remember today, I'm sorry, I should have had a photo of him, will give courage to those who are oppressed and held in bondage, and bring us all, we pray, into the true freedom of your kingdom, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and everlasting, Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth. 
and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may, may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is discord, union. Where there's, sorry, where there's injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for a peaceful transfer of power tomorrow as the inauguration of President-elect Biden looms. And we pray for all those who are seeking healing in the midst of the conflicts and divisions which have arisen in our country. We pray for sound government and for the safety of all people. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So normally I do offer up the LFF uh, or Lesser Feast and Fast or Holy Women, Holy Men of, and I literally just tripped over Wolfstan as I was setting up last night. I should have been paid more close attention. Um, Wolfstan is an 11th century bishop. He actually held a plurality of seats. He was the Bishop of London, then appointed Bishop of Worcester, and then appointed Archbishop of York. Um, eventually, he resigned the, uh, the episcopate in Worcester and held the plurality of York in London until his death. He was seen as both a reformer and also one who sought to reconcile crown and papacy. So during a time, particularly in the, 11, in the 11th century, when there was a great deal of ferment in the Anglo-Saxon mm -hmm. Um, kingdoms, as well as the advent of the beginning of the Norman invasion, he was integral in the, in, in the uh, success and livelihood of the church. He was often thought to have been a Benedictine when he was elevated to the episcopacy, and uh, he is remembered today. So there you go. Did a little catch up while you guys were uh, <laughs> while we were praying. Um, I bid you peace and grace. Uh, please be aware that we have uh, evening prayer at five. Um, and then, of course, tomorrow is our busy day here at St. Peter's. We have uh, 9 a.m. morning prayer, 10 a.m. Bible study. However, we do not have noonday prayers to uh, make space for folks to be able to watch and pray and meditate through the inauguration. Um, and then we'll rejoin, of course, at five o'clock for evening prayer. At the 9 a.m. service, we will have prayers for the nation.
So please do join us for that. God's peace, God's grace, like and subscribe, share with your friends and uh, let everybody know that the life of Christ at St. Peter's is going well. Take care. Bye-bye.